Welcome to Peter Hallman Ball Yard in Kitchener, Ontario for tonight's game between Team Canada Selects and the USA National Men's Team. I'm here in the booth, John Evans, alongside with my co-host, Chris Dimitrievsky. Team Canada Selects are the home team for tonight. Uh, team USA are the visitors. I will turn it over to Chris, who will run you through the starting lineups. Uh, team USA is the uh, are the visitors for this uh, matchup. Uh, leading off for them will be Bryson Baker. He'll be playing third base. Batting second, Brian Wegman in left field. Batting third will be Kevin Philby. He is the catcher. Batting fourth in cleanup spot, Mr. Brett Helmer. Batting fifth will be Robert Blackburn in uh, right field. Batting sixth, Brandon Dillon in center field. Batting 7th, Denny Krein playing first base. Batting 8th, Kevin Bazette playing the middle infield. Batting ninth, Luis Reina at shortstop. Batting 10th is Jeff McGavin uh, at second base. And batting 11th for Team USA will be Travis Clark, who will be pitching for them. Uh, for the Canadian lineup, uh, Canadian selects lineup, uh, leading off for them will be Wayne Perrant. Batting 2nd will be Jason Gallish in the right field. Batting third, Dave Bolt in center field. Batting fourth, Ted Baker playing first base. Batting fifth will be Mark Frampton uh, catching. Batting sixth, Lee Belfontaine in middle infield. Batting seventh, Mike Hook in left field. Batting eighth, Rob Gauden, uh, the a EH. Batting ninth, Matt Barrett who will be playing shortstop. Batting tenth, Jeffrey Kraus, second baseman. And uh, rounding out the order will be Ryan Wood, who will be pitching for Canada Selects. Uh, welcome along. Um, I hope you enjoyed tonight's broadcast. We're slowly getting our feet on the ground and getting a little bit uh, more in the groove as this tournament's wrapping up very quickly, day one. I um, want to thank Sports Canada TV for streaming this uh, broadcast. Very much appreciated. The crew's done a wonderful job all day. Um, and allowed Chris and I to uh, dabble and uh, ho hopefully giving you some good broadcasts. Um, we want to also thank some of the sponsors um, tonight, um, which include TPS, Combat, Molson, Home Run Sports, Louisville Slugger, Mikan, and Worth Sports. Uh, it's very much appreciated to do this. We have a pretty nice set of um, people in the stands tonight, and um, we're very short to get going here. Leading off, uh, Bryson Baker. First pitch by Ryan Woods, a little deep for ball one. Um, and we got this ball game going. Um, the teams had a nice little welcome as they were warming up uh, minutes ago. The sprinkler system uh, went on and um, welcomed them to the game. The first swing by Bryson Baker is a lazy fly ball to center field, hauled in by center fielder David Bolt. Chris, what do you think some of the keys are for tonight's game for uh, both these squads? We've seen the USA men's team earlier on um, kind of free swinging away against um, Team Europe, and they did a fairly good job and um, kept their feet on the ground until late in the game when they started hitting some uh, long home runs. We saw the Futures team um, against Team Canada really battle. Um, I, think, uh, I think home run management will be key again. Um, also, I think... Um, you know, uh, Team Canada must play well defensively and be able to hit, continue to hit with uh, the Americans. But I think the, the key would be for Team USA home run management and uh, actually in part also for the Canada Selects team because uh, that in our previous, just uh, the game that just finished, uh, I think that hurt Team Canada when they played the Futures team. Great play from Ryan Wood uh, on a shot up the middle by Brian Wegman, uh, two away. Um, Ryan Wood is no stranger to pitching at the uh, um, elite level stuff like this. He has uh, pitched a little bit in the U.S. He's been on um, the border battle teams in the past um, and pitches quite a bit up here in the Ontario circuit. Um, can really work the ball in and out, uh, which is going to be heavily needed against this uh, strong hitting U.S. side. Canada has two outs here. Top of the first, Kevin Philby trying to get something going here for the U.S. team. Give him a little spark. There's strike one from Ryan Wood. Uh, 
Kevin Philby finds a nice little hole there between the five man and the shortstop, punches it through, does his job, and leaves it up to the big man, Brett Helmer. I also, like, I mean, easier said than done, but I also think Ryan Wood's going to be a big, big part of this game. He is a very good pitcher. He, he does pitch to his defense, and he's great up the middle. Uh, if Ryan can control the game somewhat for the Canada Selects and keep, the, uh, to keep team, team USA at bay, I think team uh, the Canada Select can be uh, su successful or at least stay in the game with uh, Team USA. There is quite a uh, few players that are on the Select team that have played for the big club in the past, uh, namely David Bolt uh, in center field has been um, the mainstay and center field for Team Canada's. Wegman hits a nice line drive out to uh, left field. The ball got in. Matt Barrett gets it to home plate nicely to hold the runners at second, third. Uh, but Helmer does a nice job hitting the ball the other way. Actually, the starting outfield for Canada selects has played for Team Canada from left to right. Uh, Mike Cook, um, David Bolton, center, and uh, Jason Galish in right field. And, of course, Ryan Wood um, on the infield, and Wayne Parage, who's playing third bases, dabbled with the club before. Um, we have talked about uh, before in left field, um, if you can pick up on the cameras uh, when they pan out that way at some point, the um, black mesh. There's a black mesh out there. That does play as a double um, here. It's not a home run. If it goes off that mesh and rolls back down, um, it's live, actually. It's not a ground rule double. It is a live ball. Um, it starts about center field um, and carries to the foul line and left. Uh, 10 to 12 feet, I would say. Robo up to bat. Robert Blackburn has a weak swing at a ball and um, fouls out. Um, good pitch by Ryan Wood. I would I would say Ryan Wood controlled that inning. Um, yes, and we'll he see, did. We'll see if that continues. Um, we're going to the bottom of the first um, for Team Canada. Selects um, leading off for us will be Wayne Perrant. Um, we'll catch you soon. Welcome back here to Peter Hallman Ball Yard in Kitchener, Ontario for the last game of tonight's card, which features Team USA against Team Canada Selects. Um, earlier on in some of the other broadcasts, we mentioned um, a home run derby tomorrow night, 9 p.m. We're hoping to stream live. We hope we don't get behind on games tomorrow, but it's presently set for 9 p.m. Um, the format is one Canadian and one U.S. player matched up. And in a bracket formula, or format, excuse me, um, we did draw the pairings in between games. Um, and at some point, Chris will um, share them as time permits here. We'll give you some pairings. We'll go over them multiple times today and certainly through the morning tomorrow. Um, but the pairings have been drawn. That's one U.S. Uh, player with one Canadian player. It will be a bracket formula. Um, eight swings or ten pitches um, is the format. And um, they're going to boil it down you know, pairing by pairing until we uh, um, get a winner. So leading off for the uh, Team Canada selects is the third baseman, number four, Wayne Perrant. This is the first time I think we've seen Travis Clark today. Yes. Um, LC did most of the heavy lifting in the earlier game today. Um, he gets the first hitter to ground out to himself. That's one out. Um, and coming to plate is the right fielder, Jason Gallichan. I think it's important here, Chris, for the selects to find out some way to get some runs and uh, put a little bit of heat on the U.S. Not that they're going to really necessarily feel heat, but uh, maybe take the edge off for the selects. 
Yeah, just put a little pressure on the uh, Team USA. I mean, Ryan, Ryan Wood held uh, Team USA to zero runs in the top of the first. And, um, you know, Canada selects is a great opportunity to take the lead and put, a, you know, somewhat some pressure on the Team USA. A walk uh, by Jason Galichin gets us to um, Dave Bolt, um, who's been a member of the Team Canada for many years and um, is on the select squad this year, Manning center field and is a number three hitter. David gets his arms out. It's knuckling a little bit. Does it get off that mesh? It's up and over the <coughs> mesh, excuse me, for a two run home run. And gives Team Canada selects the early lead. Be interesting, Chris, to see how that ball flies, um, if there's any change from the daytime games um, to the night game. It is a little bit cooler this evening and I, I strongly suspect that the ball will be fl uh, flying and um, uh, it will uh, put a little bit more pressure on the on the boys to keep the ball in the park. Um, it will go. And that gets us to uh, number nine, the first baseman for Canada, Ted Baker. Sees that gap down the right field line. And trying to get uh, Robert Blackburn on the move and he fouls it off. Ball coming in, the home run ball's been thrown in in center. See what Travis Clark has up his sleeve here. Apologies earlier, I think I mentioned Kevin Philby will be catching, it is actually Brett Helmer catching, and I believe uh, Kevin will be the EH for Team USA. Uh, one and two count to Ted Baker, the first baseman. And looks like Ted gets his arms out on one here and hits it off the mesh. That's that mesh we talked about a little bit earlier. Could come into play. Certainly does there. Um, that rolls us to the next hitter, the catcher, Mark Frampton. Strong right-handed hitter. Spray hitter, I believe he went, um, he's played an ASA World Championships he did play with the Orioles, I believe, back in 2010, 2011 at the A, a Worlds. And actually, uh, he competed very well. Hit a well, nice staff. <laughs> Wonderful play by wow. Lewis <laughs> Reyna. Uh, nothing worse than that, Chris, hitting a ball. Probably can't hit a ball any better. He is so smooth, Luis. Just timed it perfectly, and he's such a great ball player. That's the key. When you can grab outs here, you got to grab outs here. Like that was Lee Bellafontaine from uh, Porter's Lake. Popped up to uh, the second baseman and ends Canada's threat here in the bottom of the first. Canada does get two runs and leads this ball game 2 nothing. Welcome back to Peter Hallman Ball Yard. Team Canada Selects versus the U.S. Men's Team. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Chris um, to give you a few of the pairings for the home run derby that's going to be on tomorrow night, the combat home run derby tomorrow night at 9 p.m. that will be streamed live. Um, I will turn it over to Chris. Okay, again, uh, John, like John mentioned, after the USA National, USA Futures game at 7.30, 9 p.m. will be the combat sports home run derby. Participating in that. Again, it's a matchup with a Mer uh, Team USA player and Team Canada player. The first pairing has sees Chris Larson versus Justin Pinnell. The second pairing is Denny Krein versus James Kelly. Third pairing, pairing is Todd Cadenhead versus Dale Brungart. The fourth pairing sees Steele Lewis versus Kevin Philby. Fifth pairing will be Lee Bellafontaine versus Bryson Baker, followed by Frank Henry versus Robert Blackburn. Jason Gallison versus Brian Wegman. And then Mike McLeod versus Chris Greinert as uh, Brandon Dillon uh, grounds out to uh, Ryan Wood at uh, the pitcher. So and we have one out. I'll just clear up a little bit of stuff there. Chris was reading the pairings. That's an American and a Canadian are going to be paired in groups uh, versus um, other groups. Um, 
so those pairings he listed to you are the teams. Um, so Chris Larson and Justin Pinnell are together um, versus Denny Crine and James Kelly. That's how that's going to work. It's going to be hitting in teams, one Canadian and one American as a team versus another set. Thanks, Sean. Sorry about that. Uh, another ground out, uh, Denny Grind. Chopped one to the second baseman, Jeffrey Krause. Nice play. Gets Canada again um, quickly. Two outs. Very similar to the first inning. Let's see if Kevin Bazat, who had a wonderful game this afternoon, continues his hot-hitting way. I would suspect, as you see Dave Bolt moving in center, um, they scouted the earlier game. Kevin was just peppering um, that left field gap and center field. We'll see how they pitch him. Looks like Ryan is uh, frustrating uh, Team USA thus far. He's doing a good job out there. So That's a strike. Two and two. Kevin Bazat. Off the end of the bat. One, two, three inning. A fly ball to Jason Galichin. That's uh, going to the bottom of the second. Team Canada selects two. Team USA, zero. Welcome back to Peter Hallman Ball Yard, bottom of the second inning. Uh, team Canada selects against the U.S. men's team. The leadoff hitter for Team Canada selects is um, Michael Hook, the left fielder. You might recognize Mike's name. Um, if you're tuning in from the U.S., he has been part of the border battle teams off and on for a few years. Was a Louisville Cardinal um, is where he played some college ball. Um, up until the last few years, I think he held the stolen base record there, um, maybe career-wise. Um, that's one out. Um, now coming up, number 43 is Rob Chutter got in. Seems to we got the Chris, people are squeezing the bat a little bit tight here. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is a bigger crowd right now, and, and the, the Canada Select teams are... Uh, are playing the Team USA, so understandably they got some nerves there. But I guess Robbie doesn't. Has a nice base hit up the middle. Was a well struck ball. Yes. Next hitters are uh, the shortstop Matty Barrett. Being known in Ontario for a great many years of uh, wonderful glove work. He's one of the few guys that can go get it and complete the play start to finish. Hits it on the ground. Nice play. Nice play. All around there, the Jeff McGavin threw the ball off a little bit, but uh, Kevin Bazat went and got it, held on to the bag, and got an important out. Yeah, he didn't. He just held on to the ball, making sure of the out at second base, and uh, not not even attempting the, uh, a double play there. So that's a smart ball. Now we have from Alberta. Um, Jeffrey Krause, who I believe is the reigning Canadians MVP. Yes, sir. Part of the uh, Alberta Oilman, along with uh, Jeff Zanoli. Matty Barrett sneaking off first base there a little bit. Uh, in case you don't know, in ASA, the That's base runners are allowed to steal. In. That's staying in. See, Matty scores. Oh, this is going to be a huge play at home. And he Sorry. scores. The ball gets away from Kevin Philby. And Jeffrey Krause goes on to third base. Canada puts another run on the board to make it 3-0. 
It's a nice yeah. hit by uh, Jeff to hit left center there, scoring Maddie and um, uh, two outs and uh, not burning a home run. Slex actually got a little bit lucky there. That ball bounced up, looked like it was going over the fence and hit that uh, yellow protective top there and stayed in the park. We go to the last hitter, the pitcher, Ryan Wood. Serves it into center, and that ball's down. It's a great S hit by Ryan. Scores a run. Makes it uh, Team Canada selects four. The U.S. nothing. To the leadoff hitter, uh, back to Wayne Perrant, who grounded out to the pitcher to start the game. As you see a beautiful picture of the ballpark right now under the lights. Wayne Perrant, one of the good hitters in Canada, seems to turn it up in the big games. Takes a strike to start his at-bat. Goes after a pitch, backhand, doesn't have a play at second. No. In and out of Bazat's glove. I think it's the only real play he had. I don't think he can go across the diamond there. No, it would have been tough for uh, Wayne can run. Um, that was a tough play. Gets us to Jason Galichin, the right fielder. He walked his first at bat. This is uh, could be a pretty pretty good turning point of this game early on if uh, Team Canada can select and continue to hit the ball here and put a little bit of pressure on uh, the U.S. team. Yeah, they got a couple runs here with two out, and um, I expect Jason to possibly hit this out or hit something hard and have another run across the board for two Canada selects. Hits it on the ground. Nice play by McGavin. Throw on to second. Makes the play. Ends the inning. Um, the Team Canada selects four. Team USA zero heading to the top of the third. Bottom three hitters for Team US are due up. Welcome back here. We're at uh, Peter Hallman Ball Yard in Kitchener, Ontario. Um, top of the third inning. The Team Canada selects four. The visitors, the U.S., nothing. Starting off here with the shortstop, Luis Reyna. We'll see if Ryan Wood can continue to control the ball game like he has so far here in the early innings. Yes. Uh, I'll be interested to see that. Smooth hit by Luis. At least two. Oh, great throw by Jason. Oh, wow. Wow, Jason. Oh. Jason Galichin made that play close with a nice uh, nice goal get and I'm a wonderful throw. I think uh, Brian and Wegman and uh, Helmer should remember Jason from the first board battle when uh, Jason threw out, um, I forget who it was, who went into second base for Team USA. And uh, Jason made a great throw out of the, from the right field line, and uh, Jeff Pierre made a great catch and made the tag out at second. And ever since then, the Americans were hesitant in going to first to second on uh, some hits. Ball like chopped on the ground. Nice, unbelievable scoop. And they're going to call him off the bag, it looks like. I don't think he beat it out. Wow. 
I think they're going to call the first baseman off the bag on that one. Uh, not too much yeah. of a protest by Ted Baker. Yeah, he tried his best to stay on the bag there. He just um, ran out of room, unfortunately. And that gets us to the pitcher on tonight's game, Travis Clark. We're not sure what the delay here is. If they're uh, waiting for the coach to come out to protest that call. Um, or not, it looks like uh, Coach Jeff Sagan, uh, another border battle veteran, um, coached the teams the first few years along with Jeff Long, is coming out to just discuss exactly what happened. That's a tough call, I guess. Uh, it, it appears that Jeff is probably asking for the umpire to ask for help there on the call, possibly. Um, I guess he's just making sure that he's sure of the call and uh, that his foot did leave the bag and was not able to uh, stay on the bag long enough to uh, produce the out. Good bit of coaching there. Maybe sniffing out to see if something was potentially going on there that he could get overturned. And he's probably told pretty quickly that uh, the call was going to stand. And again, gets us Travis Clark, the pitcher for tonight's game. Chopped on the ground, Jeffrey Kraus makes a nice feed. Nice Lee play. Bellafontaine makes the throw to first, and uh, that's a double play. Double play that uh, Ryan Wood convinced off the bat there of Travis Clark. Gives us two out here in the top of the third inning. That's one of those plays, Chris, if you don't, uh, all the way around, if you don't stay smooth, things can get away from you. And yeah, both guys didn't rush exactly. anything. And just yeah, Lee, Lee made a great pivot there, made an accurate throw the first, making sure of the throw, and um, he did have a little bit of a time to uh, get the, uh, make the double play there. And um, we have uh, two out now with uh, Luis Rainey at third for uh, Team USA here in the top of the third. I'm sure the fans in Porter's Lake like that turn by Lee Bellafontaine. Uh, I think Bryson, yeah. <laughs> Bryson got a home run there. Decided he had to change some of the misfortunes maybe going uh, U.S. way and just shake them out of uh, what's going on here and hit a ball into the night sky. Yeah, I, I expect Team USA to figure out Ryan, but um, figure Ryan out, but uh, we'll see what happens. That gets us to Brian Wegman. Brian's had a pretty good day overall, I think. Not too many uh, at-bats he's given away. Ryan uh, concentrating here on where to pitch him. Brian gets his arms out on that, trying to hit that gap. Yep. Gallatin fills it up. and don't say, that, don't say that too often, but Wegman out back to back at bats takes us to the bottom of the third inning four is four two is the score team Canada select still ahead Welcome back to uh, the ballpark here in Kitchener. Uh, Dave Bolt leading off for the Team Canada Selects. Looks at ball one. Um, team Canada Selects looking to put a little pressure on the U.S. He team here. Dave Bolt swings away. It's to center field, short of the track. Oh, Caught. a little deeper. Nice jump, jumping catch. Um, at the wall out there in center field for the first out. 
Brandon Dillon pulled that back in a little bit. I may have. Uh, nice play regardless. Ted Baker, the uh, next batter. He had a double in his first at bat. Sees that gap down the right field line, and that's a couple feet inside nope. the line. He's going to roll into the corner. Ted's hustling around for his second double of the game. And that gets us to the catcher for tonight's uh, game, Mark Frampton. Mark Frampton uh, hit a line drive at Lewis Reina, who climbed the ladder a little bit and made a wonderful catch in his first at bat. And Mark's going to look to turn around his uh, misfortunes from his earlier. Swings and hooks it down the line. Down. It's down into the corner. Brian Wegman goes and fishes it out, scoring Ted Baker. Mark Frampton holds up at second for back-to-back -back doubles here for Team Canada Selects. That's going to get us to uh, number 27, the five-man for tonight, Lee Bellafontaine. Lee would like to give a shout-out to the Dirty Birds in Nova Scotia. He hits the hole nicely and gets into second pretty easily and plates another run for the Team Canada Selects. We now make it a 6-2 to two ball game in the bottom of the third, one out. And gets the uh, at bat to Michael Hook. Mikey hits it off field, drops in front of the outfielder. Robert Blackburn scores another run as Lee Bellafontaine scampers across the plate for Team Canada's seventh run and gets the, uh, the next. So Sorry, Chris. No, I was just going to say Canada Selects looking really comfortable up there this inning. And, uh, you know, manufacturing three runs without using a home run. So that's uh, that's huge for them. We talked about it earlier in some of the other games, the home run management in this park. It is a 300 all the way around with a mesh netting in left field. Um, it plays a little smaller than the 300. Rob Godin gets his arms out and hits that ball a long way. On to the practice diamond. And gets a two-run home run. It's two good at-bats for Rob, a base hit and a home run. And Canada selects, again, move the board. And gets it to Matty Barrett. These are the at-bats, Chris, that you really need uh, the hitter to really bear down and get that single. Yeah, usually the bottom of the order does that for you. Um, but having said that, um, I mean, again, the, any one of these guys can and blow it out at any time, but um, home run management has, has always been key um, in this format, in this border battle, and it was especially proven for uh, Team Canada at Border Battle 2, where the Americans had uh, maximized their home runs that inning. Uh, Johnny McGraw hit a two-run shot, and, um, and then I believe Rusty got on. Um, he was on third base, and Kirby hit a DBO, and then Thereafter was uh, Scotty Brown hit one out, dead ball out, and Ryan Robbins, uh, rest his soul, um, unfortunately granted out to Higgy, and um, that was the end of the game and, and produced Canada's first win at the border battle. So, yeah. That's how important these home runs are. Again, you get 10 home runs per team, uh, and then it turns into an out afterwards. Um, so, as Chris was saying, that home run management. Uh, right, you don't want to hit those solo home runs or those two run homers. Um, and sometimes pitchers pitch to it. Maddie gets a uh, hold of that one. Line drive out to Brian Wegman, who hauls it in and left. Kind of moving there on Brian, but he stuck with it and made a nice catch. Uh, the guys are hitting the softball candidate issued uh, Worth Protac Hot Dot Classic Plus. It's a uh, 52 core. 275 compression ball. Um, if you're wondering what they're hitting here at these parks, plays 300 all around. They've done a great job at this uh, ballpark, keeping the infield as best they can. The grass looks in good condition. Chopped into the ground. Nice play by Bryson Baker. Nice play. And that gets uh, Team US out of that inning. Canada gets a few more runs. Canada, Team Canada selects nine. 
Team USA 2. We're heading to the top of the fourth inning. We're going to be back with you very quickly here. Um, Chris is just going to confirm the um, home run pairings again, and we're going to get those out to you. Chris and John back here with you at the Peter Hallman bar, Ball Yard in Kitchener, Ontario. And we're going to try to here before Kevin Philby gets up for Team USA, uh, run through some, those home run pairings again for you. Remember, it's one Canadian, one American teaming up, um, going against another team of one American and one Canadian in a bracket-style um, home run derby tomorrow night, 9 p.m., hosted by Combat Sports. Chris? Yeah, the teams will consist of, uh, one of the teams will consist of Chris Larson and Justin Pinnell. Denny Crine and James Kelly will be another team. Todd Kadenhead and T Dale Brungard. Steele Lewis, Kevin Philby will be battling together. Uh, Lee Bell Fontaine will be paired off with the Bryson Breaker. Frank Henry and Robert Blackburn. Jason Gallish and Brian Wegman. And the last pairing will consist of Mike McLeod and Chris Grannard. Again, the Combat Sports Home Run Derby tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. following the USA Team USA versus USA Futures game. Kevin Philby up, he works the walk. To start off the top of the fourth here for the US who are looking to manufacture something or get something going here, getting it to the big man, Brett Helmer. Team Canada again, selects are up 9-2 here in the top of the fourth. Not many home runs hit tonight, two for the selects and one for Team USA. Team USA scuffling a little bit here with the offense but are looking to get it turned around here fairly quickly. Uh, Ryan Woods controlled um, the ball game up to this point. Yeah, Ryan's kept them off balance, um, mixing it up out there, um, you know, keeping the Team USA honest thus far. A legal pitch there, runs it to a full count. Brett Helmer always a tough out. And a uh, wonderful eye. Absolutely wonderful eye. Ball was on the short front port of the plate. A lot of guys like to chase that. Um, but he battled hard. That's back-to-back -back walks here to lead off the fourth inning for Ryan Wood and Team USA. Robert Blackburn getting in the box. Going through his routine prior to his at-bat. The dust kick and getting ready. Do a little back bend there. And he'll be all set. Robert struck out his first at bat. And uh, he's going to make sure it doesn't happen this time. Mike Hook goes all the way back to the wall. And it's off It's off the mesh or yeah, the bar. Yeah, it's still in play. Still in play. To and me, that looks like it hit the bar, not the mesh. But <laughs> Kevin Philby lumbering around the third base there to score. Good hustle there by Kevin. That's a long single. But a single nonetheless. Yeah, Robo had uh, Mr. Helmer in front of him, so he had to make sure that yeah, ball make sure was down. That, yeah. Going to Brandon Dillon, who made a wonderful catch last inning in center field on a ball, or two innings ago on a ball that uh, could have left the ballpark. He went up and got. Team USA starting to uh, get something going here with uh, in the top of the fourth. Brandon from Anderson, Indiana. I think that one has left. There's three three back for the Team USA. Mm -hmm. They're starting to get this offensive machine cranked up a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I think they uh, have an idea what they need to do against Ryan. So um, we'll see if it continues. That gets them to Denny Grine. Is the next hitter who grounded out to second base his first at bat. Denny grinds it into the plate, smacks it straight down to get that big hop through the infield. 
Yeah. Gets it rolling here to Kevin Bazat. Yeah, they're preserving those home uh, runs, of course, at Denny playing the team game and getting a base hit for, uh, for the next batter. This looks a little bit more like the U.S. team, Chris. They're not really pushing stuff too much. They're just uh, fighting a little harder. I think it just clicked up the concentration level a little bit more here. Yeah, with Ryan out there, yeah. I, I believe that. Yeah, that's true, too. Another base hit up the middle. David Bull bring, uh, throws it in quickly on to uh, Matt Barrett at short. Lewis Rainey up next, base hit in his first at bat. His little Brett Helmer runs across the infield there to pick up the bat for Luis Team USA. Picturesque scene here at Peter Hallman Park. See the score um, board there up in the right-hand corner. Um, beautiful setting. Luis Rainey is showing off both his bat today and um, his glove. He's made some fantastic plays. It's a treat to watch him when he gets on the bags. He can really fly. Woody's really consistent with that, uh, getting that borderline strike at this point. Not too many protests by the U.S. team. Line drive past Matty Barrett. Benny Grind lumbering into third base there. Base is loaded for uh, Jeff McGavin. Luis is uh, six for six on the day, according to my stats. He was four for four in the first game, and he's two for two thus far in uh, the second game for Team USA today. I guess that's grinding it out. Yep. Jeff McGavin, Pride of Michigan. Looks like to me, Chris, he's thinking about pushing that ball. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's probably he probably will push the ball. Uh, he, he's possibly looking to uh, hit it out too. Oh, that's a close call. That ball must be on the plate there, as the umpy called dead ball right away. As you may know in ASA, you can steal. The ball does hit the plate. It's considered a dead ball immediately. Ryan Wood walks wow. another in the inning. That's wow. three walks in the inning. Walks in a run and gets it to Travis Clark, the pitcher. That was very close. Too close. I wonder a little bit, Chris, maybe um, early on the U.S. team was pushing a little bit, and those balls that Ryan was throwing earlier on, they were swinging at, maybe they backed off. And Yeah, I think I think uh, they re uh, they realized that the, they were swinging at pitches that Ryan wanted to swing at. As uh, Travis hits it uh, deep to left, that's going to stay in the park. Mike Cook on the track, hauls it in, throws it into second, about the only one he has a shot at. And Lewis. that's the first out of the inning. Fly ball to left field. Mike got it in. As you know, there's some blessed arms out there in that outfield right now. Um, you have Gallatin and Mike Hook on each corner. Both of them can throw that ball pretty well. It's a treat to watch them. I think this is important here for Ryan to bear down. Um, Bryson Baker might be the wheel to this, uh, to this ship here. And if he can get it kind of choked off here, he has a chance to get out of the inning here, maybe still with the lead. Bryce is such a good hitter. Um, I expect something uh, hard and possibly out. A little bit of arc there. That's a strike here, makes it a full count. There's one out here in the top of the fourth. 9-8 team Canada selects currently over the U.S. team. And that changes the board pretty quickly. There you go. Mr. Baker with a, a three-run shot. That's that offensive machine, right? You just get those runners on, and yeah, Bryce is such a good hitter. I mean, um, you know, he was calm there. He got ahead three and one. Let uh, Ryan groove a couple of pitches in there, and he chose to uh, hit the last one out. And um, Team USA is now up 11 to 9 and and team USA left here in the top of the fourth, and we Ryan only have Baker. one out. Brian Wegman, two outs so far tonight. Ground out to the pitcher, a fly ball to right. I'm sure he's looking to get himself zoned back in. Put a good swing on a ball. And oh, nice hit. There's as expected. 
stayed up that tunnel right up the middle there and hit a line drive. Gets it to Kevin Philby. Second at bat of the inning for Mr. Philby. A walk in his first at bat in this inning. Jeff Segan has seen enough at this point, just wants to slow it down a little bit for his crew. I'm not sure at this point, kind of looking up and down um, Team Canada Selects roster, who would be the next one in line to pitch for them. Uh, as we had mentioned, Scott Lee got moved up to the uh, main club when Jeremy Sutton went down with injury um, a few weeks ago. Um, took a ball to the to the side of the head. We're um, hoping he recovers soon. The ballpark certainly misses him. Um, but not sure what kind of pitching moves they potentially have, so it might be Ryan Wood for the long haul here. Yeah, um, I mean, Dave Bolt has been has been known to pitch. Um, but uh, I don't... I don't see anyone else. I mean, I, I know Matt Barrett can pitch, uh, has pitched before, but he's too valuable at shortstop for them. And uh, on the bench, Jay Maynard, Rob Lewicki, and Scotty Foster do not pitch. So, yeah, I think you're right, John. I think they may ride out the wave with uh, Ryan Wood out there on the mound for them. I think you're right. If maybe they have to get an out at some point, maybe it's Dave Bolt. Um, but it wouldn't be as a long thing, or uh, long process it would be to get out of the inning as Kevin Philby lets loose a little bit has a nice free easy swing for a two run home run keeps him perfect on the night with a single a walk and a home run and gets it to Brett Helmer Brett walked as well on his uh, first at bat started this inning off with back-to-back -back walks both have come in to score Field looks like it's held up pretty well today. Yes, it has. Um, I mean they have great fields here. The grass is uh, cut well. Um, they have been, uh, you know, raking the infield for uh, for each game. So that's that's really nice to see. Brett chops it in the ground. Ted Baker went to make the play. Nice play. Nice play. Nice play. Jeffrey Krause did not panic at all there. He just caught the ball, took his steps, and fed Ryan Wood perfectly. It's good for Ryan not to give up on that play either. Absolutely. Saw his first baseman uh, dove full out there. He knew he had to back up the play at one, and uh, and he did so and made the out. That gets us back to uh, Robert Blackburn. Stay with us, guys, too, at the uh, end of this half inning. We're going to run through the home run hitting contest pairings as well. Uh, one Canadian, one American are going to be paired together to face another group of one Canadian, one American, brought to you uh, by Combat um, Sports Home Run Derby tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Um, Robert Blackburn, a line drive up the middle. It's the first second base hit of the night. Chris will run you th through the pairings as well. Um, we also want to thank our sponsors um, that we've had out here, um, as well as the City of Kitchener, and its Parks Department and Softball Canada and all the volunteers that are making this uh, work. Um, they do an amazing job in Oklahoma City. Uh, we just hope we can do a comparable job um, up here in Canada. Um, rolls to the center fielder here, Brandon Dillon. Um, grounded out to the pitcher in a home run. Stick handles that ball to the side, knocked down by Jeffrey Krause, but not gonna make a play out there at that point, but uh, knocks the ball down and gets it to Denny Grind. Um, what do you think of that at bat there, Chris? That was get on base, whatever you can to let I Denny get up a with some guys sneaky. on. That was a smart ball. He he saw a little opening there and he pushed it to his the backside and um, you know got on base. And uh, here we are, uh, Denny's up, two out, I believe. Is that, yes, I, we have two out. And I expect Denny, uh, that might be spun out. And Mike Hook's watching it yep. go. And that's a three-run homer. As Team U.S. continues to hit in this top of the fourth inning. Makes it 16-9 on five home runs, I believe. We're going to verify uh, the amount of I home runs here for you. I have four, John, for Team USA. 
I count four, uh, 16-9, Team USA. Team USA has hit four home runs, uh, five. Apologies, uh, Team USA has five home runs, I'm being told. I know Bryson Baker two and Philby one. Yeah, uh, Bryson's got two, Philby has got has one, Brandon Dillon and Denny Crying. We got that one sorted out, and it leads us to the middle infielder, Kevin Bazat, looking to punch that gap, but filled up by Dave Bolt for the third out. Team Canada selects, get out of the top of the fourth. Um, they do give up the lead. They are now stuck seven, heading to the bottom of the fourth. Five home runs hit for Team USA. Two home runs hit for Team Canada selects. If you want to stick with us here, we're, um, Chris is going to run through the home run hitting pairings for tonight for tomorrow night's excuse me 9 p.m combat sports home run derby um it's going to come after the team usa team usa futures game we hope you stick around for it uh, it should be a lot of fun and i'll turn it over to chris who will run through the pairings again the pairings for the combat sports home run derby will consist of one team usa player and one team canada player uh, they will uh, compete against other combinations of Team USA and Team Canada players until the actual final. So I'll just na name off, uh, name the pairings uh, to you now. Chris Larson and Justin Pinnell will be together. Denny Krein and James Kelly. Todd Cadenhead and Dale Brun uh, Brungart. Steele Lewis and Kevin Philby will be heading together. Lee Belafontaine and Bryson Baker. Frank Henry and Robert Blackburn will be paired together. Jason Gallishan and Brian Wegman. And the last pairing will be Mike McLeod and Chris Greiner. Again, tomorrow evening, after following the 7.30 p.m. game between U Team USA and USA Futures, uh, 9 p.m. Combat Sports Home Run Derby uh, here live from uh, Kitchener, Ontario at the Peter Holman Ball Yard. That takes us to the leadoff hitter for this inning, the pitcher Ryan Wood. Travis Clark throws a pitch, gets a called strike. Ryan looking to lead off this inning to get Team Canada Selects going a little bit here. They've been a little stagnant. Uh, we're lucky to have the lead uh, held onto it until the Team USA bats woke up. Uh, legal pitch there. I think it's key that Team Canada answers that beginning by Team USA, uh, Team Canada Selects. That Two is. and two's the count here. Ryan chops it into the ground. McGavin comes up with it. That makes the out at first. For the first out, takes us back to the top of the order. Takes us to third baseman Wayne Perrant, um, who's been on base once tonight, but a couple of uh, ground outs. Looking to get back on track and, and get it rolling from the top of the order. That's a strike, strike two, one ball, two strikes. Legal pitch due to height, it sounds like. It was called pretty early by the umpire, which we've had some great umpiring today. Chopped up the middle. Zot stayed down on it, makes the throw to first for the second out. Nice we play, another nice play. We want to welcome also uh, some of the umpires um, here for this event. It's an honor on their part. Um, we have Sean Barrow from um, Michigan, Don Farr from Borden, Ontario, Len Gorgie from Caledonia, Ontario, Mike Maisner from Michigan, Scott Williston from Chatham, uh, Terry Woolwike, I believe it is, from Winnipeg, and the umpire in chief is Jeff Whipple from Fredericton, New Brunswick. We'd like to welcome them aboard. They've done a heck of a job um, getting through today. I know they've ground, grinded it out a little bit, but um, they're doing a great job. Jason Gallichin, thinking he gets the walk here, but uh, has to uh, get back in the box there and swing away, I think. 16-9, Team USA. Galchin, big pop up on the infield. Lewis Reina goes back, makes the catch. And Team USA machine looks like it's starting to roll a little bit. The score heading to the top of the fifth. Team USA 16, Team Canada selects nine.
Welcome back to the top of the fifth inning. Team USA getting ready to hit. The shortstop, Luis Reyna, is going to start them off. Pretty important, I think, here for the team. Canada selects to get in and out of this inning defensively pretty quickly to uh, to not let this game get out of control. Yeah, absolutely. Like the, the Americans did put up uh, 14 big runs in the in the, the top, their top of the fourth and uh, took the lead over uh, Canada Selects, 69. Uh, Canada Selects did not answer, so um, Team USA seems to be rolling, and we'll see what happens now. Luis Reyna picking apart the infield there with a nice little hands inside his body, swing over there. Rolling it through the infield for a base hit to get um, his night and I believe his day. I think he's Perfect. seven for seven on the day. Seven for seven, John. Seven, seven on the day for Luis Reyna. He may not want to go to bed tonight and just keep hitting balls. but No, no. We go <laughs> to uh, Jeff McGavin. One of those high sock wearing fellas. And the flip brim. Ball a little deep, it looks like. Two balls, one strike. I don't think Ryan Wood was too happy with that call. On the ground, this could be two. Mind Jeffrey Krause stays with it, gets the out at first. Luis Reyna goes to second. That's got to be a lot of pressure as an infielder with that um, that speed. Yeah, J Jeff did hit it hard. It had, it had a little uh, spin to it, a little top spin there, so somewhat some English there and. Uh, just got away from Jeff a little bit. He was una una unable to make the play at second for a potential double play, but stuck with it and threw out uh, the runner at first. So uh, went out for uh, Canada Selects. Travis Clark up here from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Kenosha? Kenosha. Hanging up there. Great Davey catch by Davey Bolt. And Luis Reyna goes back and tags Great up. Great catch. That and he gets to third. That okay. might be a key out for uh, Canada Selects. That saved uh, at least a run and uh, a potential double there. So huge defensive play for Canada Selects. Back to the top of the order for Team USA. The third baseman, number four, Bryson Baker. Bryson Baker is taking us back to the top of the order for the U.S., Back-to-back -back home runs for Bryson Baker. Okay. Bryson hits a line drive right at Lee Bellafontaine. Makes, Makes a, a play. nice catch. That's a huge, uh, huge uh, hold there for uh, Canada Select. So going into uh, the bottom of the fifth, it's 16-9, uh, Team USA. Welcome back here to Kitchener, Ontario and the Peter Hallman Ball Yard. Uh, we're in the bottom of the fifth inning. Team USA 16, Team Canada selects nine. Starting with Dave Bolt, the number three hitter here for Team Canada selects, who starts off with a line drive base hit. It's going to sneak itself to the fence for yeah. a stand-up double, it looks like, for Dave Bolt. Good start. That's a good start. The ball kind of gets away down the line, but no damage. And gets it to the next hitter um, for Team Canada Selects, Ted Baker. It's a good game so far, John. Um, yeah, it's keeping it close. 16-9, uh, it's really, really, really up to uh, Team Canada Selects at this point to um, continue putting the pressure on the U.S. team. I think that has a chance. And it 
It is. It does. It's a two-run home run. Pulls the selects uh, within five. Yes. And the bottom of the fifth. Um, that puts, I think, the Team Canada selects. That's their third home run. That is their third home run for uh, 11 runs. So, um, yeah. And it rolls us to Mark Frampton, the catcher in tonight's game. It was robbed by Luis Reyna early on in the game with a great uh, catch. Mark had a double his last at bat. And hits another one. Luis couldn't get this one and robbed him twice in the same game. Mark rounds the bag at first. Gives a good old hand clap and Looks for his teammate to pick him up. Lee Bellafontaine steps in for the selects. From Porter's Lake. Great pitch by Travis Buck there. I yeah. Uh, that might have a chance. No, it's it looks like it's staying in the park at center for Brandon. Brandon Dillon hauls it in. Mark Frampton tags up, goes to second. It's the first out of the inning. Fly ball out okay, for Lee Bellafontaine. Gets us to Mike Hook. Mike Hooks had a pretty good one for two on the evening. Evening. One hopper to Jeff McGavin at second. Looks at Mark Brampton, who still scampers over to third base. That's a second out in the inning. I don't think the selects were looking for this, Chris. I think they were looking for. No, they. Um, uh, Travis is getting them in the swing of his pitches. Um, you know, on, on those last two at bats. Made really good pitches. He's, he's, he's locating the ball um, better, I, I believe, um, as opposed to earlier in the game. So it uh, looks like Travis is settled in there. Well, Rob Trotter Godans had a pretty good night with a base hit and a home run. Yeah, see it's possibly another hit by Robbie now. It's a big run out there. Team Canada selects have only used three home runs. They have seven left. It is getting in the later innings. You start wondering if they're going to start swinging away if they have the opportunity to. That's on the ground, not caught, makes the throw, and not scooped oh. by Denny Grind. Wow. It looked like he had it under control there, but. Is that uh, Kevin that made the, sorry, Bazat? I think that was Kevin Bazat yeah. out there. And gets the at bat here. Oh, it's going to be a substitution. It looks like someone's going to hit here for Matt Barrett. Coach Jeff Long is out to make the move. We'll announce it here as soon as we have it. It's Jay Maynard. It looks like the one that gets the call is going to be number 66 uh, for the Team Canada selects. Um, and it's Jay, Jay Maynard. 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 Another representative from Alberta. I think he, also, he was also part of the Alberta Oilman that won the Canadian Championship last year in Canada. And looked like he was trying to hit that gap and may have got under it a little bit. Brian Wegman closes the gap out there in left field, left center. And here we go to the top of the sixth inning. Team USA still leads by four.
We're back here for the top of the sixth inning. Chris and John joining you. We thank you for tuning in today um, to the broadcast. We thank Sports Canada TV for all the work they've done to allow us to do this, and um, we appreciate the, uh, the opportunity. And certainly if you have any recommendations or anything you'd like to say, feel free to tweet us at EvansJohn66, at EvansJohn66. We'll do our best to get back to you or um, take on um, any recommendations you might have. Um, Brian Wegman, a uh, little disgusted with that last call, uh, gets back in the box here, and we'll see what Brian does when he's angry. Chops it in the ground and through the infield. He's going to wheel it to second, he's in there standing up. We also want to ta um, take the opportunity to thank uh, the viewers from Europe, all the way over in Europe, who, uh, who were with us earlier in the day uh, when Team Europe was playing. Also, our American cousins down south, thank you for tuning in uh, with us. Again, like Johnny said, please feel free to send any comments uh, that you have or any suggestions to us at EvansJohn66 on his Twitter account. And we also want to thank our Canadian viewers who are tuning in as well, who are not able to make it out to Kitchener to watch the game uh, from across Canada, all the way from BC, Northwest Territories, um, all the way out to the East Coast in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland, and the province of Newfoundland. So we appreciate it. And that even includes some of you people from Uxbridge. <laughs> Just had to throw that in there in case <laughs> there is anyone from Uxbridge that has internet. <laughs> Um, I'm surprised it's there, but if, if it is, welcome aboard. <laughs> um, a fly ball um, there gets us to Brett Helmer. Uh, one of the okay. few bat at bats you're going to see ever from Kevin Philby. Um, but Brett Helmer has a chance to bail him out. Yes. Team USA has only hit five home runs. And um, uh, uh, six. Let's make that six. I think That's Brett got that one. Um, into the night sky for a two run home run. He hit that into the creek that uh, abuts uh, Peter Holman ball yard out in right field. That uh, rolls the lineup over to Robert Blackburn. Or Robo as he's known. Probably some of the nicest sideburns and slow pitch. I Personally, I don't think they're real. There's a chance that there's an, in, they're an implant um, or it could be tape. True kind. gentleman, Mr. Blackburn. One of the nicest men out there in the world of slow pitch. Line drive out to Jeffrey Krause. And gets us to Brandon Dillon. 18-12, John. Uh, Americans have hit eight, six home runs thus far, and Nobody. Canada Nobody. selects have hit three. Right. So um, select teams uh, making this a game. Have a bit of activity behind us. A few of the Team Canada men mulling around a little bit, trying for the distraction keys. Nice pitch by Ryan Wood on the inside part of the plate there. It seems like uh, Ryan Wood here has got back control of that game that he lost there, Chris, for the middle innings. Yeah, uh, it, uh, I think so too. Also, it, it, it is the later innings. Uh, there's a little bit more pressure on the guys to, you know, to hit well, perform well. Um, you know, you can s uh, just example of th that at bat. Um, Brandon looked like he was squeezing that bat a little bit there, but and uh, Brian got, uh, Ryan got him to ground out to himself. And um, going into the bottom of the six, it's 18-12 with Team USA.
Welcome back, John and Chris here with you in the wonderful Peter Hallman Ball Yard in Kitchener, Ontario. The night's getting a little bit longer here and uh, we're in the bottom of the sixth. Jeff Krause starting, there's a defensive replacement, Donovan Pok Pokraka um, out to right field for Robert Blackburn. And um, Jeffrey Krause starts this at bat with a fly ball to center. And it made it over that mesh in yes. center field for a solo home run. So that is home run number four, according to my account, John. That gets the uh, Canada Select team one run closer. And um, uses up another one of those Team Canada Select home runs. Gets us to the bottom of the order here for Ryan Wood, the pitcher in tonight's game. And Ryan Wood, a ground out to second and a base hit. Looking to get a base hit to keep it rolling here in the sixth inning. Serves it into right field for another base hit for Ryan Wood. Gets it back to the top of the order for Wayne Perrant. Um, there's not too much depth left on the Team Canada Selects uh, bench. I think there is... Um, they have Scotty Foster and Rob Lewicki there. Are two players left. Uh, they're playing a little bit short um, in terms of losing Scott Lee, as we mentioned earlier on, who went to the parent club or the big club um, for the injured Jeremy Sutton, who we hope uh, starts, um, starts feeling much better and gets back to the ballpark. Um, Wayne Perrant here. And looks like that's going to be out unless it gets off that mesh. It's kind of hard Two to see. Two run shot. Two run shot. That is the home run for Wayne Perrin. It's home run number five for uh, Canada Selects. It is now 18 to 15. Steve Shortland is coming out asking the umpire there. There's a bit of confusion. We've been playing different rules today. We were having uh, hit home runs and walk off. Um, in these later games, or since the broadcasts have started, they've wanted people to run them out. And um, looked like Ryan Wood was about to leave the playing surface and may have made contact um, with the hitter. And uh, I guess Steve Shortland's out there just discussing if this is that's in fact a, an issue or not. Looks it like looks like Steve is whatever he told him doesn't make Steve happy, but is going to stand. Um, we do have a pitch hitter now. Rob Lewicki. We have Rob Lewicki coming in. Oh, and actually it looks like uh, Steve Shortland is going to take a walk out and maybe talk to the base up to see if a ruling should stand or not. And whatever Steve asked was quickly confirmed or denied. And um, it looks like the change here, Chris, is Jason Galichin out and Rob Lewicki in. Correct. Affectionately known as Sticky around these parts. Uh, fine little outfielder from the Windsor, Ontario area. Travis Clark trying to entertain himself on the mound there. Pretty good at spinning that ball there. Huh? We'll see what Sticky has up his sleeve here to try and get uh, another base runner on. And it's a line drive to center. Good start. Nice little start. Rounds first base, heads on back quickly. Nice start to Rob Lewicki's weekend. That gets uh, the center fielder, Dave Bolt. Up for Team Canada. He's had a home run, a double, and flew out to center field, a two for three night. Let's see if he can get uh, Team Canada selects a few runs closer to Team USA. A legal pitch to start off on height, it appears. Dave Bolt hits it high and deep. Um, she gone. Dylan at the fence, but all he could do is watch it go. That gets us to an 18-17 ball game and makes things a little bit closer here for Team USA. 18-17, Team USA. Um, 
I have six home runs each for each team. So, um, yeah, here we are in the bottom of the six, and Canada Selects are still batting with none out. Ted Baker up. Home runs are tied at 6-6. Six, six. Ted Baker at the plate, the first baseman for Team Canada Selects. Trying to throw a lawn dart down the right field line, and that's into the stands. For a strike. Chris, it seems like um, the baby clubs or the clubs underneath the big clubs uh, yes, are uh, here to play. We saw the Futures beat uh, Team Canada. And yes, uh, yeah. The Team Canada selects here are in a dogfight here with Team USA. Yes, yes, they are. Ted hits a line drive the other way. Donovan Pokraka settles in underneath it, makes the catch for an out. And that was earlier in the week, too, when uh, the Futures team went out to uh, Ohio, Parma, Ohio, and uh, I'm sorry, apologies. I think it was in Cleveland, uh, Northeast Ohio. Yeah, Northeast Ohio beat the Futures team uh, that night. So um, the underdogs are coming out to play. Uh, you know, how can you not play? You're playing against the best, uh, best in the world that it's out there, and um, I think it just... It brings that much out of uh, you know a slow pitch player when you're playing against uh, the best that's out there. Catcher Mark Frampton on a two for three night, make it three for four. It's a solo home run, ties up this game. Into the sixth inning, bottom of the sixth inning, we have a tie ball game. Team Canada selects are still hitting. Canada selects are in a good spot. Really good spot, they still have um, Three home runs left. They have a one-run lead. Sorry, uh, that's a tie game. Lee Bellafontaine. And they have, more. most importantly, they do have the hammer, so. It looks like the bench down there on the Canadian side when they want this in inning to continue. They're all standing up there. Travis Buck is testing that height limit. Ball chopped into the ground. Oh, that was close. That was a great throw, though. That was a great play by Kevin Bissett. It was a great play, good throw. Just rounded that ball and got rid of it right away. Yeah. Quick hands. Lee got down that line, that's for sure. That is the second out of the inning. Takes us to the left fielder, Mike Hook. One for three on the night. They're looking for him to get going. Probably going to think he's going to test that gap there between the pitcher and the second baseman. Uh, he's trying to get that gap. Uh, a little bit up too much. Yeah. Donovan Pakraka makes the catch. We're going to the top of the seventh. It looks like it's going to be a run one inning ball game. Let's see who the best team is over one inning. We'll see at the top of the second seventh. We're back here with you at the top of the seventh inning, tie ball game. Um, Chris is going to uh, re-inform us of the home run combat sports home run derby for tomorrow night. Um, we have teams, one Team Canada player, one U.S. player um, in teams going against similar um, one U.S., one Canada teamings. So Chris is going to run through them. Okay, so again, the Combat Sports Home Run Derby will be held tomorrow evening, 9 p.m. after the Team USA versus Team U, uh, USA Futures game. Uh, the pairings are as follows. Uh, Chris Larson from Team USA along with Justin Pinnell, Team Canada. Denny Cryan from Team USA with James Kelly from Team Canada. Tom Cadenhead of Team Canada along with Dale Brungart of Team USA. Uh, Steele Lewis, Team Canada with Kevin Philby, Team USA. Lee Belfontaine, Team Canada, with Bryson Baker, Team USA. Frank Henry, Team Canada, along with Robert Blackburn, Team USA. Jason Gallishan, Team Canada, along with Brian Wegman, Team USA. And Mike McLeod of Team Canada, pairing off with Chris Greiner, Team USA. And that is, again, the Combat Sports Home Run Derby being held tomorrow evening at 9 p.m., which will be following the U Team USA versus Team USA Futures game, which starts at 7.30. 
Welcome back here, guys, to the top of the seventh. Denny Grine going to jump in the box here for the U.S. team. Tie ball game, 18-18. Seven home runs have been hit by Team Canada selects. Six home runs by the U.S. team. Um, we're just confirming some scorecard stuff. Um, it looks like it's an 18-18 ball game. Everything's okay. And um, we're going to see if Ryan Wood continues with his dominance um, on the yeah, mound of really um, controlling uh, the Brian, game. Brian, sorry, John. Brian's only, uh, Ryan, apologies, Ryan. Ryan's only had one bad inning, and that was the fourth inning when Team USA scored 14 runs. Otherwise, he's pitched three donuts, and the other two innings, uh, Team USA scored two runs. So we'll see what happens here. I do expect Team USA to free swing here, and uh, they do have four home, run home runs to use, and I don't expect them to. Oh, stay with it, Ryan. Ryan Wood sticks with that and makes the play. Denny Cry just hits a laser up the middle, and uh, Ryan got the glove out there right at his midsection and uh, almost made the catch. Um, uh, this has got the makings of uh, a big upset, possibly. That's a big play. That could be a big momentum. That was huge, huge. That can get momentum. I'm not sure Ryan's feeling the most comfortable right now, but... Uh, Certainly wants to get the ball and throw the ball. Yeah. I mean, Team Canada is in a good spot. They're in the. They're working with the bottom of the order for Team USA, and um, you know, uh, other than uh, Luis Rain, Luis Rain has been, uh, you know, perfect on the day. But um, I think Canada selects are confident that they got they got to win. The American Futures team is getting a little louder down there along the thing, trying to urge the U.S. squad. Yeah, get, things are getting tense up there. Ryan gets back on uh, the beam there with the strike. He's going to try and put the pressure on Kevin Bazad here. It's on the ground. Lee Bellafontaine picks it up. And a, a safe very, call at first. Very, very, very close play there. Lee held onto that ball a little bit too long, I think, Chris. I know yeah, he wanted to set I his feet out on that grass portion. I agree. I agree. But like Kevin, Kevin's fast. Kevin's a fast runner, and you know, just like when Kevin makes those plays in the previous, you gotta get the ball out of your hand quickly, uh, especially with these guys. These majority of these guys can run down, run down the lines pretty quickly. So oh, we'll see what happens. And gets to Luis, who has a perfect day going for himself. He's seven for seven on the day. Let's see if Luis Reyna can continue his hot streak. I'm guessing the Team U.S. guys are hoping he certainly does. Yeah. I, Lu uh, Luis can bl uh, hit the ball out too, so. He's going uh, for it. It's down yeah. the line. It is down the line. It's Mike Hook is at the fence, and he walks off, off the, the mesh fence. In. Off the mesh. Wow. Something hit out there. It either hit uh, post or the mesh, but it looked like uh, that ball took a funny turn suddenly on Mike, and he was unable to come down with it. Bit of a gift or a bit of a good opportunity there for the U.S. side. Looks like uh, the U.S. team's making a change. Chris Larson. 22 is going to be coming in. Uh, Chris Larson. For uh, Jeff McGavin. Going to be hitting for McGavin. McGavin was a walk and um, two ground outs. One's a fielder's choice in the first or his first at bat. So probably looking for a little bit more power at this point. A three-run home run would um, certainly yeah. take the edge off this. Yeah, Chris is uh, Chris is expected to blow it out. He's a long haul bomber. Uh, looks like uh, Jeff Segan uh, is gonna. I don't think this. Down. I don't think this is as much as maybe freezing. Chris Larson here outside of making sure they know what they want to do here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, they're either going to pitch him to hit it to a spot or not pitch to him at all and hope they can get Travis Clark maybe to roll over on something. Or uh, Chris is a dangerous hitter in this situation, I think. Absolutely. They don't have a force out at any bag, so any ball that they come up with, especially on the left-hand side, they're going to have to throw across the diamond. Which is one thing that Coach Jeff Segan's probably reminding his players to make sure you're in a position where you can make the play. I'm certainly sure they would trade an out for a fly ball out or give up a run for a fly ball out if they could.
certainly that play at first is looking a little bit bigger. There was uh, yes, looking at the is. opportunity maybe having two out and nobody on at that point. Yeah. First pitch by Ryan Woods called illegal. Certainly looking for him to hit a pitch he wants to throw, but Chris Larson decided to hit his pitch. And he hit it where he wanted to hit it. Big three run home run. American uh, Team USA getting loud down there. Fired up. We got, we got ourselves a good ball game here. Big shot by uh, Chris Larson. Gets it to Travis Clark, the pitcher. That is seven home runs for Team USA. 21-18. A little bit of work left to do. I'm guessing the U.S. team would like to continue hitting till they're out of their home runs at this point. Another three runs tacked onto this would make it a little bit more difficult for the selects. Ryan Wood sporting some of battle wounds from that shot up the middle with a cut on his arm, it looks like. That's uh, another home run. Travis, Travis Clark, Clark hits it out. Not a bad idea to continue moving the board at this point. You don't want to leave anything on the board. Absolutely, they have uh, that. That is their eighth home run of the uh, of the game. They do still have uh, two more left. So, uh. the umpire yelling up to us telling us he's got three softballs in the bin. There's another one over there. Ryan Wood's got a battle here. Oh. It's another play up the middle. The Bryson leaving it for uh, Mr. Wegman to uh, potentially hit it out or and or uh, Brian may keep it in the park and allow Mr. Philby to do that. We'll see. Nevada one out. Fielder, Brian Brian's such a good hitter. You never know what he might want to think or what he's doing, but he could certainly make this a first and third situation and let the big man Philby stretch himself out. Yep, Brian got it. And the fast strike, hard hitting US squad has done a great answer here in the top of the seventh. A blitzkrieg from back in the day. 24-18, uh, Team USA has one home run left. Uh, Canada selects to bat in the bottom of the order where they'll have three home runs left. Uh, again, uh, uh, but having said that, uh, the Mer Team USA still has only one out here in the top of the seven. They're still batting. See what Kevin Philby does here. I'm sure he's looking to set the table for the big man, Brett Helmer. It's a line drive to the gap. Kevin moving out there too, hustling in for a double. And down with a big slide. That is a, a nice hustle move and would spark a lot of those guys over there. The Futures team is down here on the American side cheering them on, so. It's uh, getting exciting here, buddy. For the big man, Brett Helmer, I'm sure he's not uh, not overwhelmed by any situation in his his career. I'm sure he's seen a lot. Looks like he's focused and zoned in. We'll see if Ryan Wood can get out of this by making a good pitch or two here. Inning started to look good for the Team Canada selects. Ryan Wood made a heck of a play up the middle on a shot by Denny Grine. Um, then a ground ball later on a hustle play down the line. Um, um, we let the inning keep going. And a walk to Brett Helmer. 
Yeah, that was a questionable call there by the umpire. Um, a lot of moans and groans in the stands here. And um, this is the first at bat tonight for Donovan Pokraka, uh, who came in as a defensive substitution in the sixth inning for Robert Blackburn and gets an opportunity to swing here in the seventh. Crowd's really getting into it now. And Donovan hits it in the gap and over that mesh for a three run homer. And that uses up all the homers for the US, but I'm sure they're happy using them all up, especially on three run shots. That's that quick hit, instant offense. Now we're getting back up to the center fielder, Brandon Dillon. Twenty-seven, uh, eighteen. Team yeah. USA up by nine runs. They do not have any home runs left. Uh, Canada selects the bar uh, to bat in the bottom of the seventh. One out here in the seventh. Brandon Dillon's aiming for that gap. Hits the gap nicely. Short hops the fence. In there for a stand-up double. Yeah, the Americans right now are just feeding off one another, and uh, it's been con become contagious throughout the lineup. Uh, guys are just smashing the ball right now, and uh, uh, it seems like every American Team USA player is up to the challenge, so... Someone let a fighter under them. Denny Krein up to see if he can solve Brian Wood. Base hit and a home run on tonight's uh, stat sheet for Denny. That ball was a dead ball, I believe. I think it hit the plate. So you saw some people scrambling on the baselines there, looking to sne sneak an extra base. Hits a line drive through the hole. The big man's lumbering into second. He's in there with a sliding double. That gets the crowd a little bit happy. I'm not sure if they're more happy if he'd hit a 460 foot bomb or a uh, Maybe they're double. happy when they see a six foot seven man uh, slide into second base. Substitution out there at uh, second base. They're going to get the big man off the bases, and L.C. Watson's going to go in and run for him at second base. Steve Shortland making the change. That's the only change I see being made. As it's cooling down here a little bit. And that's going to get us to Kevin Bazat. L.C. Watson running at second base for Denny Krein. First pitch by Ryan Wood looks a little inside. Kevin Bazat looks like he is up and over Dave Bolton center off the wall. He's going to play a run. In. That plate's another run for the U.S. team. And gets Luis Reina up to the plate. Luis, I believe, had a double his last at bat in this same inning. Correct. Play for Team USA. Number Getting all set up here. 29-18 is the score here in the seventh. Ball deep by Ryan Wood.
You'd think that a line drive back to a pitcher who makes a heck of a play on it would give you the motivation, but it seems to have ignited the U.S. squad. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, uh, Ryan made a great play there and um, got the out. And then uh, I think the key may have been the second at bat when uh, Kevin Bazette grounded too short and um, beat it out. Beat it out. Uh, appeared maybe D Lee had uh, double clutch there, but uh, it wasn't. It was a very close play, but uh, they, that kept the inning uh, kept the inning going. Uh, Luis uh, got a double thereafter, and uh, things started to roll. Um, Chris Larson came in for that pinch three, uh, pinch hit three run uh, home run. So he's back up the bat right now. Ball a little bit inside. Team Canada selects looking for any way to get an out here. Travis Clark coming up. Jeff McGavin looks like he's coming back in the game. So Chris Larson had two productive at bats. He had that three run home run and a walk in this inning. Yep. The selects looking for anything to get him out of this inning. Or an out as we're still sitting at one out here. Travis Clark, I think, has pushed a couple balls tonight uh, over first base. I would think he's going to look to try and serve something that way. The Canadian mid infielders are playing him strong. A bit of a gap there between first and second. Ryan Wood keeping that pitch on the inside part of the plate. Yes, he pushes it, fills up that gap. Ball thrown in by Jason Gallichin. And back to Bryson Baker in the top of the order. Uh, Rob Lewicki, I believe, is in right field now. Ah, uh, he you are, are right, Chris. Sticky was a hitting substitution yeah, a few innings back and has continued to man right field for the selects. Bryson Baker watches ball one. Ball, sorry, ball two coming in. The, of course, we start with a one-on-one -on -one count. Line drive past Lee Bellafontaine. He's going to roll all the way to the wall and he could pl could plate three here. Yes. Looks like it's scoring Travis three runs well. on a double by Bryson Baker. Huge double there by Bryson, clearing the bases to make it now 33 to 18 for Team USA. On one out. On one out, and they let off the inning with an out, and they've scored 15 consecutive yeah, runs thereafter. On Pretty impressive. On 16 hits. I uh, know there's a few walks mixed in there, but. Team Canada selects are looking for some sort of answer here. And an out. Brian Wegman at the plate. Takes strike two, one ball, two strikes. Brian chops it to the gap the other way, rolls it to the fence for another double for Team USA. Change spots with uh, Bryson there. After um, having consecutive outs um, for Wegman, he's now got a base hit, a double, a home run, and a double. It's a nice bounce back. Yes, it is. Kevin Philby. One fly out to left is the only blemish on his record tonight. Ryan Wood toeing the rubber here. Kevin Philby pumps something the other way into this opposite gap that Wegman just hit. Ball in by Mike Hook. And just traded places with Brian Wegman. 
Yeah, the, going back, like you said, John, uh, Canada Selects were short. Uh, some guys, uh, Skip, Scott Lee moved on to the to the big team, Team Canada. Canada Selects were left with literally one pitcher. And, um, and you can see the consequences of that in this game. With Ryan still out there, uh, you know, the Americans, I mean, don't get me wrong, they hit the ball really well and have scored 17 runs in this last inning where if uh, they did have a, a pitcher, that someone could have come in and, you know, disrupted this uh, onslaught in the, in the top of the seventh. Yeah, at least certainly to at least change the pace. We saw it earlier in a few other games. Um, it's not that um, other pitchers came in and did that much better, just changed up the pace enough that um, got the uh, hitters to, you know, maybe not feel as comfortable in there or rush it a little bit or... Um, but not having the ability to make a a change has hurt the selects, I think, at this point. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like Ryan, Ryan Woods is a battler out there, and he'll he'll do anything that needs you know that needs to be done in order to win. But um, he's having a tough go here. Nice catch there down the line by Teddy Baker. He's pro Donovan Prokakis was trying to go down the line. That would have. Again, probably scored two more additional runs, but uh, Teddy Baker made a nice play on the line out there. We now have two outs here in the top of the seventh. So we'll see if the Americans can do it again and go, you know, 16 hits in between outs again. Center fielder Brandon Dillon. Takes ball two. Two balls, one strike. Chops it uh, to the second baseman, Jeffrey Krause, who drops the ball. That's something that happens, Chris, in these long innings is just sometimes defensively as an infielder. Yeah, uh, you, yeah. They like sometimes you don't get a play for a long period of time. And, you know, Jeff has been standing out there for at least 25, 30 minutes. And... Gets a simple ground ball and, uh, you know, just unfortunately lost his focus there and booted a ball and the inning continues for Team USA. This is L.C. Watson's versus bat. He pitch ran for Denny Krein earlier. Hits went to Jeffrey Krause. Yeah, Jeff makes the hard play there. <laughs> almost throws the ball away. Um, but they make the play, they get the third out. I believe that score now reads 39. Uh, 35, sorry, I have. 35 to 18. 18. Going Fantastic hitting, by, sorry John, Tim by Team USA. It's phenomenal. Abs absolute clinic. We're going to the bottom of the seventh, 35-18. Please stick around with us at the end of the game. Uh, Chris again is going to read out um, how the Home Run Derby is going to happen tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, the Combat Sports Home Run Derby. He'll run you through the mixed Canadian-U.S. teams. Um, and we'll announce it a few times more tomorrow, but please join us for after the game. We'll break um, the Home Run Derby um, down a little bit in terms of um, who is teaming up with who. Welcome back to the bottom of the seventh. Chris and John with you here in the booth. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast through the day. We want to thank um, sportscanada.tv for all their support and help today. They worked through some technical difficulties um, and they had to work with uh, Chris and I through the day to help us understand what we're doing um, to get through. We're going to start the bottom of the seventh here. Um, Team Canada selects are chasing 17. They went into the top of the seventh in a tie game, and the U.S. put up a number. And um, it's up to the selects to answer. They have three home runs left. Um, we're starting off this um, inning with Rob Godin. Two singles and a home run so far to his name. And we'll see if he can get it going for the Team Canada selects. As It looks like there's a pinch hitter on deck. Um, Scotty Foster 
has grabbed a bat um, and is in the circle. Um, Rob with a wonderful swing to get them going, and that's going to bring up uh, Scott Foster, uh, number 42 out of Barrie, Ontario. Um, going to get a cut here late in this game and see if he can keep the, uh, the select train rolling. Rob Godin, wonderful night, didn't get out, three singles and a home run. Um, had a clutch at bat, if I remember the home run was a two run home run and um, really kind of moved the board to put uh, the selects up. I think that got them to nine, in around yes, seven or nine at that point. Correct. And um, early on in the game it was a big swing. Scott Foster is an outfielder um, from Barry. Did uh, he call that strike? I believe we just had a strike call for a ball that hit the middle of the plate. Um, However, I think it did hit the plate. Conspiracy and theory here, gentlemen. Jeff Segan. Conspiracy is theory here, gentlemen. Talking it out, ladies and gentlemen. He clearly <laughs> wasn't uh, wasn't wasn't arguing balls and strikes, which isn't allowed in ASA. Um, and Scotty Foster ended up uh, replying with the two-run homer <laughs> at the end of it. Uh, two-run home run to make it 35-20. Team Canada Select still have a lot of work to do here, um, but they're narrowing the gap. They're chasing 15. Who yep. knows? Who knows, right? Uh, With nobody two home runs left. Nobody out here. Nobody out. We'll see how it goes. Taking us to the bottom part of the order to Jeff Kraus. Uh, base hit, a home run, and an out. Uh, sitting on a two-for-three night. Smooth swinging left-hander. Moved a few, year go, few years ago out to Alberta uh, from Ontario, chasing work, and um, continued to play ball and uh, has turned himself into a heck of a ball player. And hit a little fly ball to the infield, caught by the pitcher for a pop-up. And takes us to tonight's pitcher, who had um, had an interesting night, Chris. Um, yeah, Ryan. Um, he had five kind of solid, quiet innings and two innings that got away from him. Uh, pitching wise, yes, he had uh, he put up three donuts and uh, two innings with two runs each, and the two innings, uh, the, the fourth inning, uh, unfortunately, the, uh, Team USA scored 14 runs, and and here in the seventh, uh, top of the seventh, uh, they put up 17 runs as. Ryan Wood hits a solo shot for Ryan team uh, for Team Canada Selects. Gives him a three for four night and gets us back to the top of the lineup to Wayne Perrant. Wayne Perrant hasn't been at his best tonight, uh, but let's see if he can get it going and keep it going here for the Selects and see what happens. Rob Luecki on deck. Back to the top of the order for Canada Selects for the third base hit number four, Wayne Perrant. It's been a good ball game tonight, Chris. Not a bad day to end day one. Back and forth. I think some, Absolutely. Peop some Absolutely. people in the crowd here were kind of loving the potential for back-to-back -back upsets. If you can call uh, the futures beating anybody an upset, they're nicely put together. No, I, I don't call that an upset. The US, uh, Both U.S. teams are, are stronger than our Canadian teams, in my opinion, and... Um, I, I believe our, our guys, uh, Team Canada boys, have to play their best ball in order to beat uh, these two talented American teams. Kevin Bazat from short center field throws out another runner. It appears to me out of all the infielders I've seen outside of Luis Reyna, who doesn't have any struggle going anywhere, is uh, Kevin's really settled into this diamond. I think he's figured it out in terms of the depth where, you know, he's taken that lip out of play and... Um, Absolutely, yeah, I agree. Uh, Kevin does look really comfortable out there. Luis is a phenomenal fielder. And Kevin's making all the routine plays. Um, actually, and as well as Bryson. Bryson's made some plays at third base. And uh, where he usually plays, I believe, in the conference, he's uh, second or middle infield, I believe, um, for laser vision. So it might be our last one. Sticky gets his arms out and chases that one out of the park. So that's Team Select's last home run. Yes, it is. And 35-22, and um, 
Canis Lux has their work cut out as they need to manufacture 13 runs without any home runs, without using any home runs. The selects certainly do look a little deflated from that big inning. Uh, I think it started off well where they made a big play to get that first out, and then there's nothing they could do. Uh, the U.S. just decided to hit it. And Dave Bolt rolls it up the middle. Kevin Bazat can't come up with that. That's one guy you're going to struggle throwing out from there, even if you come up with it. Uh, Davey Bolt takes one step and might not be the fastest guy in the world, but he gets to full speed kind of right away. Yeah, Davey's, uh, Davey's now uh, into his 40s, so uh, early, early. I believe he just turned 40, and uh, he's not, I mean, he's a lot quicker, uh, but a lot of guys 10 years younger than he is, but um, um, he's not as quick as he once used to be, but he's still, still above average uh, runner. Gets us to Ted Baker. Ted's had a fairly productive night, a couple doubles and a home run. And a nice play at first, the last inning. McGowan's just going to get it out, and he throws it away. Um, we're going to get Dave Bolt over to third. Ted Baker safe at first. Nice play there by Jeff to knock it down. I think he had a little bit more time than he anticipated. And um, just got away from him. I'm starting to wonder a little bit. You see the pitchers and the catchers when that ball comes in, they're rubbing it on their shirt and their pants if it's picking up a little dew from that grass. It is getting kind of misty out there. It is uh, a lot cooler. Uh, we've had a cool July here in Ki uh, Kitchener. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think we're in the teens, 20, 20 degrees, 70s for our American friends. 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 uh, Celsius. So, it, yeah, the definitely, most definitely, the ball is getting a little bit slick out there. Mark Frampton having a nice at bat here. He seems pretty locked in. He didn't flinch on either one of those pitches. Seemed to be picking up pretty well. That's uh, the ball game. And that's the final out for a home run. For a quite entertaining game down the night. 35 22 is your final, uh, Team US. Um, join us tomorrow. We'll run you through our schedule, what's going on tomorrow, and then Chris is going to run through our home run thing but um, for tomorrow we're starting off at 10 30 in the morning we have uh, Europe versus the Canadian selects team that we just saw we have Quebec versus the US national team that's slated to go at noon 1 30 we have the US futures versus the home run sports all-stars three o'clock tomorrow we have team Canada um, for the first game of the day versus Quebec that should be a, a good game if you want to come out and watch that uh, the Canadian selects then get the home run sports um, all-stars at 4 30 followed at 6 o'clock by Team Canada and Europe. Um, and then 7.30, our U.S. national team versus the U.S. Futures, followed by the 9 p.m. Combat Sports Home Run at Derby um, competition, which consists of one Canadian player, one American player matched up together as a team. They're going to take on another team of one American and one Canadian in a bracket-style tournament. Um, you get eight swings or ten pitches. Um, with that being said, I'm going to get Chris just to run through the... Um, the teams um, that you will see tomorrow night uh, when you tune in. Chris? Uh, again, like Johnny said, the, the Combat ho Sports Home Run Derby will be tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. after the conclusion of the Team USA Team USA Futures game. Uh, again, the pairings are consist of one Team USA player along with a Team Canada player. Uh, the pairings are as follows. Chris Larson, Team USA, along with Justin Pinnell. Denny Crying from Team, US, Team USA, along with James Kelly from Team Canada. Todd Cadenhead of Team Canada, along with Dale Brungard of Team USA. Steele Lewis with, uh, from Team Canada, along with Kevin Philby from Team USA. Lee Belfontaine, Team Canada, along with Bryson Baker, Team USA. Frank Henry, Team Canada, along with Robert Blackburn, Team USA. Jason Gallison, Team Canada, along with Brian Wegman, Team USA. And the final pairing will consist of Mike McLeod, Team Canada, along with Chris Greinert of Team USA. Again, that is tomorrow evening at 9 p.m., the Combat Sports Home Run Derby. Um, I hope everyone tunes in for that. Uh, like Johnny mentioned, we will be here all day tomorrow, beginning at 10.30 a.m. with uh, Team Europe versus Team Canada Selects. 
Before we sign out for tonight, we'd like to just thank uh, for their support and their help. Um, Slow Pitch Ontario, the City of Kitchener and its Parks Department, Softball Canada, all the volunteers, the fans for coming out tonight. Um, also like to thank Combat Design I Innovations, Easton, Louisville, Mikan, Mizuno, Molson, and the cooperators. Again, if you guys have any questions, um, want to know any of the inside stuff that we hear about, um, feel free to tweet us, um, Evans John. 66 at Evans John 66 and thanks again for tuning in tonight Chris and John signing out